ours are gonna go to some fun place to do some fun things we haven't decided what yet but we're here at this cafe where you can get a typical Dutch food and it's not made by Dutch people but it's pretty tasty and you can get brunch and pasta and whatever so I'm taking Steph here I've been here before but Steph apparently hasn't so it's about time when's the last time you ate this type of food half a year ago half a year ago where did you eat this? the German market oh look at this, a map of Amsterdam famous places like the zoo uh, this is a very famous square and all these small shops this is a very famous park Coffee! Okay, Steph, so you got like the forfeitures, the Dutch snacks over here. That's the Dutch snack. Uh, that's beef, right? Yes. Pumpkin and potato, egg and salad. Looks pretty good. And I got a spaghetti carbonara. Yummy! I haven't had this small pancake in a long time. Not bad, not bad. So in the Netherlands we'll sometimes eat these really tiny pancakes for dinner. So you can get them at the supermarket. They're in the freezer or in the fridge and you can just heat them up at home and they're done. Did you have enough to eat? Yes. Did you like it? Yeah. Did it taste like home? A little bit. A little bit. We have had enough to eat and we're ready to get on your bike and go to betting cages. Steph and I are in Ximen Ding, in Ximen, in Wanghua, in Taipei, and we're at this arcade when you, where you can shoot airsoft, you can hit baseball, you can hit softball, and you can play a lot of arcade games. so bad that's almost the highest score we just did the baseball part on this side the hitting part and now we're gonna do the pitching I have no clue how this works but there's nice music catch them throw <laughs> so this is kind of what they all have they have video games a lot of sports games like soccer kicking the drums boxing some jumping games Drums, basketball, these little horses, it's pretty funny, you have to race. There's this air, ho air hockey, I guess, and I don't even know what this is. Oh, baseball. And a huge basketball, Steph and I are gonna do that soon. And that's smashing it with a hammer, that's pretty cool too. So, um, if you go to this one here in Ximen, you have to pay, bring a lot of $10 coins. Because for every machine you need the $10 coins, so some you have to pay 30, some like this one, you have to pay 10 NT, and you can play the game. So I think if you want to spend quite some money, you can spend a whole afternoon here. It ain't that expensive, and when it's raining, it's indoors, so it's so nice. Steph and I are gonna play this basketball game and see who wins. Points, 40, 64, 46, 46 against 34. I should try harder. Let's play again, rematch. Look at this, I beat Steph. 74, 71, best out of three. I won again, I'm the basketball champion. I really want to do this where you step on this. So we first tried a very easy level, which was way too easy. And then we decided to switch to a harder level. But we didn't realize that a hard level actually is a very hard level. So we didn't really manage to dance well this round. Oh, we're all sweaty and everything after our dance workout. Gosh, I accidentally put in too much money. So like yet three rounds. For every 40 NT you put in and then I put in 120 NT and I didn't know yet three rounds so we danced nine rounds which is not what we wanted but anyway it was fun and now we're gonna play a different game of basketball off to the next game seems intimidating I think you'll feel it in your arm Ready, go! 
This game seems like the most straightforward game, but we didn't get what to do. It was kind of weird. But do we get to play now? Yeah. Or this is an example. Steph is going to do some like airsoft shooting on a green target. So, target Steph. Some long gun and some explanation. I think he speaks uh, English. So, there's more downstairs. We want to play darts, but I'm not sure if there are stars here. Gonna play some air hockey. I'm gonna try this one time. I don't know how it works. So let's see. I think I get it, but I didn't get anything. <laughs> Oops. That was a lot of fun. And there's also a cinema here. So if you want to go have a fun afternoon when it's raining in Taipei, go to the arcade, go do some betting in the betting cages. I mean like the hitting pole. And then you can go to the movies. How much fun is that? So we're gonna head home now. We've been here for maybe like three hours. <laughs> Two and a half hours. It's a lot of fun. I never really know what to do on a rainy day in Taipei, but going to the arcade is a really good option. It's a lot of fun. It's not that expensive. It's um, You can do it with other people together more than watching a movie, which is fun too, but in an arcade you can just talk and chat and have a lot of fun so I would totally recommend going to an arcade on a rainy day or to the betting cages or do the softball pitching or go to a shooting range whatever anyway thank you guys for watching this video I hope you had a good time if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next Saturday bye bye